The enhanced image tracing feature increases the level of complexity that we can have in an image that we are trying to create a cutting outline from. The process is similar for the online and tablet editions of Canvas Workspace. I will show you those first and then I will highlight the difference in the installed version. As with basic image tracing, we access it through the image tracing icon on the menu bar. And instead of going to normal tracing, we would start enhanced tracing. Then we would select our file. And we would use these red markers to roughly outline our shape or thing that we want to extract. The more complex the image, the, more, the closer you might want to get this outline to the actual thing that you want to extract from the picture. In this case, there's quite a lot of similarity, similarity in the background. So I'm kind of just loosely following the outline of the cat. When selecting your image, it's best to choose something that uh, has a profile or a side view. This way, the shape of the object, creature, animal, whatever you're tracing, will actually come through. Whereas if you do a picture where the person or object is face on, you will lose a lot of the details that go to make up that shape. Okay, I've loosely uh, outlined the cat. Now when I click on preview, the image tracing will start. And it looks like I've been able to get a good match just from that process. However, when I click on next, I do have a series of tools that will help me refine that outline. I can zoom in a little closer as well so that I can get a better view of the actual animal or object. With the minus brush, you are basically reducing the tracing area. So here there is a bit of extra tracing between the legs that I would like to get rid of. So I click and draw and then release the mouse button. Nothing has happened just yet, that's fine. And then here I will take this part out as well. If I need to add some area in, then I would use the plus brush. There are a couple of extra areas here I would like to remove actually. So just go around and get an idea of how well it's conforming to the shape that you want to trace. If you make a mistake and you want to remove one of these lines you can use the eraser tool and take away that line. When you have made all of the adjustments, click on Preview again. Now not much has changed, so I might have to make some adjustments in the actual um, result of the tracing. I do have the option here to trace around the outside of the edge or shape. Uh, or if I untick it, then it will trace inside areas as well. And I can change the output smoothing level. So that had a bigger impact than just trying to remove the um, areas. But now the new result has given me some extra areas on the whiskers that I need to remove. So I can go back in. Just draw a line across there because I want to get rid of this bit. And there we go, that's done it. Let's just make sure nothing else happened. Nope, that's good. So once I've done those adjustments, I click OK. And as with basic image tracing, we have the option to place the image there as well, but I don't want to, so I will click No. And there I have my shape. 
I do have this extra little bit in here as well though, so I can select that and get rid of it. And there we go. From a photo I've been able to capture the outline of the cat. This could be your cat, your dog, anything really. Now I mentioned that the process is similar in the tablet edition so let's take a look at that. We find the image tracing option here in the project menu. Again we click or tap on start enhanced tracing choose the file that we would like. This time I won't change this outline, I will just see what result I get clicking on preview. There's quite a lot that it's found that I don't want, so let's go on to the next step and use the minus brush to paint around the cat. I'm not being too precise, but I am trying to follow the form of the cat as much as possible. There we go, the minus brush has done a lot of good work there, so I will accept that result. And there we go, another successful enhanced image trace. When using the installed version for enhanced image tracing, we go to the image tracing icon, select an image, and then the image tracing process appears in this screen. We can use this box to help uh, isolate the cat image. And each time we make a change, we can click on preview. Still quite a lot going on here, but we're actually on trace outer edge only. If I want to use the enhanced image tracing option, I have to select it from the drop down box. Again, we've got a few extra bits we don't want. Now the tools that were on the next screen uh, in the previous two versions of Canvas Workspace are now part of this panel here. So we still have the plus, the minus, the arrays and the delete. And the advanced options of tracing around the outer edge and the auto smoothing are included on this panel also. As before, I will just trace around the outline of the cat briefly. Okay, that's worked quite well, but I've got a large area here that I want to get rid of too. So I'll draw around that and click on preview. And I think that's just about done. So again, I tap OK. And it's loaded the image for me because I had that selected as well. But in the panels option, I can delete that. I can also delete this extra shape that came with it. As with any other shape, we can access the path editing tools and make lots of refinements to the shape just by removing some of these nodes or changing the corner types.